Main article. Imperial Civil War The Empire, however, was too large, to be destroyed in one blow. For the next 15 years, the rebels, soon renamed the Alliance of Free Planets and then the New Republic, fought to free the galaxy from former Imperials styling themselves as independent warlords as well as Imperial loyalists, such as Thrawn and Asan Izzard. Even prior to the fall of Emperor Palpatine in Four Abbey, the signs of fragmentation began to slowly reveal themselves as early as Zero Abbey with the rebels' propaganda of the then-recent destruction of Alderaan. In just a matter of days after the Battle of Endor, the Empire was thrown into a power struggle and would meanwhile resume their conflict with the New Republic in a two-front war. The first incursion was that of Moff Kalast, followed by the more serious situation involving the free-selling arms dealer Admiral Harkov, and finally culminating in the major imperial infighting with Grand Admiral Demetria Tsarin. The situation became serious when Tsarin attempted a coup d'etat on Emperor Palpatine, managing to miraculously capture the Sith Lord by abducting him from his flagship, in a plot later thwarted by Admiral Thrawn. Immediately following the imperial defeat at the Battle of Endor, Grand Vizier Sate Pestage seized control of the Empire. However, he lacked the charisma, force powers, and terrifying presence that both Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader used to keep the Empire together. Admiral Blitzer Hask was the first Imperial to declare himself a warlord and set up his own mini-Empire, but he would not be the last. Others included Admiral Troyton Teradoc, Admiral Zinge, and General Sander Delvadis, to name a few. Sait Pestage only managed to hold the throne for a scant six months before he was deposed by the Imperial Ruling Council composed of three tribunes. The Ruling Council was acting on the manipulations of Imperial Intelligence Director Asan Izzard though, and the Ruling Council's leadership of the Empire ended under brutal conditions executed by Izzard. In Six Abbey the New Republic would liberate Coruscant from the local Imperial faction and thus making an official return to democracy. However, Asan Izzard managed to hold the Empire together and stem off aggressive warlords, as well as Trioculus and the False Kadan, who also claimed the throne, for nearly two years before losing control of Imperial Center. When Asan Izzard started to lose her grasp over the Empire, she had her scientists develop a biological virus targeting only non-humans that she later let loose in Coruscant. So when Coruscant fell under the rebels' attack, led by Rogue Squadron, they inherited Izzard's disease that caused havoc for the starting government. With the loss of Coruscant, the Empire dissolved further and, soon, Warlord Zinj was seen as the single largest Imperial threat in the galaxy. Izzard managed to evade death and escape to her own little kingdom. The remnants of the Empire found themselves for the first time on the same side of the table as the New Republic. Both governments viewed Warlord Zinj as their biggest threat. Zinj came under the pressure of both governments, but it was not until Admiral Terran Rogris teamed up with General Solo that they managed to bring Zinj down. The temporary alliance was over and new fighting erupted between the Empire and the New Republic over the scraps of Zizanjay's domain. However, the New Republic dealt blow after blow to the Empire, winning most of the engagements and further humiliating the Empire by pushing them off of the monstrous ship-producing world of Kuat. X-1 had been drawing out plans for a new galactic empire, with himself as emperor. However, his attempts were ultimately thwarted by his own brother, X-2.